My name is David Lama, I'm 23 years old from Innsbruck. Um, my great passion is climbing and mountaineering and climbing since 18 years now or actually more and uh, I actually started out as a sport climber and a competition climber but over the last couple of years I discovered more and more the, the alpine challenges and, and that's what drives me now, it's, it's mountaineering, it's alpinism um, simply because, well, the last few years in the competition circuit I, I had won basically everything already, so there was no more real challenge to it. And uh, that's why, why I discovered the Alpine adventures. Also to me, alpinism is way more of an attitude than, than just a sport, and that's what makes it so interesting to me. The change from sport climbing to alpinism is, is actually not such a big difference in, in what we are doing. It's just more a difference in, in the way we think. I mean. Um, to me, alpinism is just some kind of an attitude somehow, um, meaning that you look at a mountain face and you stand in front of a mountain and you imagine how you want to climb this, this mountain and uh, their style is very important in, in alpinism because um, you, you imagine climbing it in a certain, certain kind of style. and. Uh, the attitude comes in when it comes to this, to changes in, in this kind of style and in, in what you imagine. And uh, the way I look at alpinism now is that alpinism, that as an alpinist you, you must not make any changes in, in the way you want to climb. You know, um, when, when I came down to Patagonia for the very first year, um, I went there as a sport climber and I didn't have the attitude that that is necessary to, to be an alpinist and my project down in Patagonia was to free climb Cerro Torre and this was somehow bringing the idea of free climbing and sport climbing to a big mountain and I back then when I w went there first in 2009 and 2010 I didn't realize that Cerro Torre is such a big mountain and uh, I didn't realize that I would have to take both challenges, the challenges of sport climbing and free climbing and the challenges of alpinism. And uh, that's what was so confusing to me back then and that's why there was some critique. A mountain to me is just very inspirational. I mean, if you stand in front of a mountain and you imagine how you climb it, that's one of the most beautiful imaginations I can, I can think of and uh, it gives me a lot more than anything else. Gore-Tex is a brand that I put a lot of trust in. I mean, I've been working with Gore for the last couple of years, but uh, I, I used Gore-Tex products for basically all my mountaineering expeditions, and, and uh, I trust Gore-Tex for many years, way longer than I, I work together with them now. And uh, my position now is that I, that I give them feedback, that I use their products, and. Uh, that we try to develop more and more uh, uh, better products uh, over the years.